Hi, and welcome back to Computer Science for Everyone. Here in front of me, I've got Eclipse, the program we've just downloaded in the previous lecture. If you've already had the chance to um, fire it up and have a play around with it, then brilliant. If not, let's just um, talk about how to create Java projects and Java classes. To create a Java project, which is the only type of project we will need in this course, we come up here to the left and we click on Java project. We have to enter a project name. In my case, I'm just going to call it um, Introduction. By the way, I am sorry if you can hear the keyboard. Um, there's nothing I can do about that, but hopefully it won't be too loud. Okay, so we have our project here called Introduction. This is inside our Package Explorer area. And um, Inside it, we have two folders. JRE system library, which is the Java runtime environment system library. This is necessary for running Java programs, and it has a bunch of things. You do not have to click on any of them or worry about them. They're just there, and you will use them in your Java programs without realizing. And then we have an SRC folder, which stands for source code folder. And we can right-click this, go to new, and then we can create a bunch of different things. Oh, sorry, let's go over what these mean. We can create a package. Package is simply a folder inside this folder. Class is, you will see what this is in a later lecture. Uh, class is one of the main building blocks of the Java language. Interface and enum, you don't have to worry about. Annotation is just an annotation. You don't have to worry about that for now, although you will see them quite often when you're programming. Source folder is just a folder like we've just created. We already have one, so we don't have to make another one. You don't have to worry about Java working set. A folder is a folder inside the folder source code that will not be used for programming. So if you want to put um, other parts of your program inside a different folder, you would use a package. If you don't want to put parts of your program inside there, you would use a folder. File is just a file that's empty and doesn't have anything in it. An untitled text file is a text file that doesn't have anything in it. Differences between file and text file are varied, but in a text file you can only store text. In files you can store more things like images. And JUnit test case, you don't have to worry about that. It's used for testing your Java programs. Tasks. Eclipse has a built-in task manager, which you can use, although I haven't used it. And, well, I have used it, but not very much. Um, you don't have to worry about that for now. And these two are simply other things you don't have to worry about either. So as you can see, you don't have to worry about many things. We won't be creating packages for now, and we will be creating classes. So let's go over what this looks like. Source folder is inside our introduction project and the SRC folder. The package is going to be the default package, but we can specify a package if we so desire to. And closing type is nothing you should worry about. And finally, we have the name of the class. It's asking us for name. Classes in Java um, don't have to, but it is common practice to um, use camel case capitalization, which means if you put many words together, the first letter of each word goes in uh, uppercase. Um, so in this case, um, we're going to call it intro class, for example. And then the modifiers. In most classes, for now, you'll be selecting public. You won't be selecting any of these. You won't be changing anything here. And in some of them, you will want this ticked, and in some of them, you will not. In this case, we do. And in certainly your first few classes, you will want this ticked. So here we have it. We have our class intro class. Don't worry about any of these. We'll go over what these mean in a, in a bit. And you have two sets of braces, this, this set and this bigger set. And we'll go over what these mean. So there we have it, how to create a class in Java. So whenever I mention in the course, create this class, then you know how to do that. And um, you'll be using the default package for now. Uh, you don't have to worry about creating packages or anything like that. So it's just going to be classes for now. And let's go over Java. Let's, let's study what all of these things mean and how we program them. So let's go into the next lecture, and I'll see you then.